Welcome to Who Died Today America, your trusted source for honoring those who have bid us farewell. On this 2nd of July, we're not just delivering news, but saluting extraordinary lives that have touched ours. Today we acknowledge recent passings while paying special tribute to notable figures we've lost. Each left an indelible mark on our society and inspired countless others. Join us as we remember their remarkable contributions, reflect on their impact, and celebrate the legacies they've woven into the fabric of our nation. In Who Died Today America, their stories live on. Stay with us as we pay homage to these remarkable lives and their enduring influences. Number 10. Lisa Marie Presley, singer-songwriter and daughter of the late rock and roll legend Elvis Presley, passed away at the age of 54 in Los Angeles. The news came after a brief hospitalization following a medical emergency. Born on February 1, 1968, in Memphis, Presley was the only child of the celebrated rock icon Elvis Presley and his wife, Priscilla Presley. Following her father's footsteps, Lisa Marie Presley carved out a successful music career, releasing three rock albums that sought to establish her unique sound while honoring her father's profound influence on American music. Though her life was marred by numerous tragedies, including the untimely death of her father when she was only nine, her ex-husband Michael Jackson, and the self-harm of her son, Benjamin Keo, in 2020, Lisa Marie demonstrated exceptional resilience and continued to make her mark in the music industry. Besides her music career, Lisa Marie was also known for her high-profile relationships, her 1994 marriage to pop icon Michael Jackson was a media sensation, with the couple representing the legacy of rock and roll and pop garnering global attention. Presley was also married to singer-songwriter Danny Keough, actor Nicolas Cage, and musician Michael Lockwood. A significant part of Lisa Marie's legacy lies in Graceland, the famous home of her father, Elvis Presley, in Memphis. She owned the estate and her father's artifacts, in addition to a 15% stake in Elvis Presley Enterprises, a corporate entity managing its assets. The untimely death of Lisa Marie Presley is a significant loss to the music industry. She is survived by her mother, Priscilla Presley, her daughter with Danny Kyo, actress Riley Kyo, and twin daughters Hopper and Finley with Michael Lockwood. Remembered for her haunting lyrics and a vocal style that blended blues, gospel, and country, just like her father, Lisa Marie was a singer who made her own path in the music industry while carrying the weight of a legendary legacy. As she once stated, she was not trying to be Elvis Presley's child, but rather trying to be an artist, and indeed she accomplished just that. Her music, her courage, and her legacy will continue to inspire and move many in the years to come. Number 9. Tom Sizemore, the intense actor whose storied career encompassed high-profile films such as Saving Private Ryan and Black Hawk Down, passed away at the age of 61. Sizemore, whose life was marred by a troubled history of drug abuse and legal issues, died on March 3, 2023, following complications related to a brain aneurysm he suffered on February 18. Sizemore's distinctive screen presence left an indelible mark on audiences particularly for his compelling portrayals of tough, complex characters in war films and crime dramas. His most celebrated role came as the fiercely loyal technical sergeant Mike Horvath in Steven Spielberg's iconic World War II epic Saving Private Ryan, which saw him, along with eight other cast members, nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Cast. Beyond his prowess as an actor, Sizemore's personal life was mired in controversy. His struggles with substance abuse, which dated back to the 1990s, included the use of heroin, crystal methamphetamine, and cocaine. He also served time in prison for physically abusing his former girlfriend, Heidi Fleiss, and for drug possession. His battle with addiction and related legal issues often overshadowed his notable career. Born on November 29th, 1961 in Detroit, Sizemore showed an early passion for acting, graduating from Wayne State University with a degree in theater and earning a master's from Temple University. 
His career spanned across several notable works including Natural Born Killers, Heat, and the television series Robbery Homicide Division. Despite his personal trials, Sizemore remained an active participant in the film industry until the end. He is survived by his mother, twin sons, Jagger and Jaden, his brother Paul, his half-sister, Catherine Sizemore, and his half-brother, Charles Sizemore. His death represents a significant loss to the film industry, leaving behind a legacy defined by compelling performances, a powerful screen presence, and a life plagued by personal hardships. Number 8. Renowned post-hardcore vocalist and guitarist Rick Froberg passed away suddenly due to natural causes at the age of 55 on June 30, 2023. Known for his unique artistry, love for rock and roll, and treasured relationships within the industry, Froberg's sudden departure leaves a profound void in the world of music. Froberg began his influential career in the late 1980s, forming Pitchfork with his longtime collaborator, John Rhys. Together, they created two post-hardcore albums between 1989 and 1990, during which Froberg exhibited not only his impressive vocal range, but also his artistic prowess through designing album covers. Transitioning their sound to resonate more with Amo, Froberg and Rhys then formed Drive Like G.U., amassing a significant following in California. Their growing popularity culminated in a deal with Interscope Records, which released their critically acclaimed album, Yank Crime, in 1994. After a hiatus, Froberg launched Hot Snakes, which became his longest-running project. His relentless pursuit of musical expression saw him participate in other bands, including Obits and Rocket from The Crypt. Despite his sporadic involvement in music in later years, Froberg returned for a series of unforgettable performances when Drive Like Jihu reunited in 2014, including a memorable appearance at Coachella in 2015. Rick Froberg will forever be remembered for his creative vision, unyielding dedication to the rock genre, and his unique ability to convey raw emotion through his music and art. His life, both as a musician and an artist, will continue to inspire future generations, underscoring the transformative power of art and the enduring bonds of friendship. Number 7. Marvin Kitman, the distinguished television critic renowned for his incisive and humorous commentaries, has passed away at the age of 93 due to cancer on June 29th. His passing was confirmed by his son, Jamie Kitman. Over his long-standing career spanning three decades, Kitman's wittily crafted reviews often outlasted the TV programs he critiqued, holding the industry accountable while eliciting a laugh. Embarking on his journey as a television critic in 1967, Kitman joined Newsday in 1969, where he wrote 5,786 columns over 35 years. His sharp, uncompromising critiques earned him a spot as a Pulitzer Prize finalist in 1982. Despite his knack for finding humor in television's shortcomings, Kitman was an advocate for groundbreaking shows like All in the Family, Seinfeld, and Monty Python's Flying Circus. Besides his fruitful career as a critic, Kitman was an accomplished author, best known for his book George Washington's Expense Account. This serious work humorously delved into General Washington's exorbitant expenses during the Revolutionary War. His final book, Gullible's Travels, A Comical History of the Trump Era, published in 2020, exhibited his enduring flair for satire. Known to effortlessly walk, the line that divides verity from travesty, Kitman often revealed profound insights through layers of sarcasm and humor. His ability to provide unbiased commentary was apparent in his biography of Bill O'Reilly, The Man Who Would Not Shut Up, The Rise of Bill O'Reilly. Kitman is survived by his wife, Carolyn Saibushnik, and his children Jamie, Susie Kitman, and A.J. Knight, along with three grandchildren. Beyond his professional achievements, Kitman is remembered as a dedicated family man. The world of television journalism has lost a unique voice in Marvin Kitman. His astute criticisms, unwavering satire, and razor-sharp wit have left a deep impact on the industry, serving as a poignant reminder of the power of criticism delivered with integrity and humor.
Number six, Judy Farr, the acclaimed Australian actor whose career spanned five decades across multiple platforms, passed away at the age of 84 on June 29th. Renowned for her ability to captivate audiences in both comedic and tragic roles, Farr has left an irreplaceable void in the world of performing arts. Farr's inimitable acting prowess brought to life diverse roles, including a poignant portrayal of Linda Lohman in Death of a Salesman, dynamic performances in Angels in America, The Beauty Queen of Leonine, and Women of Troy. These roles earned her a Theatre Critics Award in 1992. She was also known for her embodiment of Agatha Christie's Miss Marple in A Murder is Announced. Transitioning effortlessly from stage to screen, Farr entertained audiences in popular TV comedies such as Kingswood Country, Mother and Son, and Please Like Me. Her film credits include The Year My Voice Broke and Oscar and Lucinda. Farr's invaluable contributions to the field were recognized in 2016 when she received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Sydney Theatre Awards. Born in Cairns, Queensland, Farr's career was kick-started with her role as Rita in the sitcom My Name's Magoo. Her versatility was also evident in appearances in The Alice, Thunderstruck, and the docudrama Unfolding Florence. In recognition of her profound impact on the performing arts, Farr was appointed as a member of the Order of Australia in the 2021 Queen's Birthday Honours. Theatre critic John McCallum once aptly described Farr as possessing an astonishing ability as an actor to be both mischievous and serious at the same time. Her passing is a significant loss to the world of entertainment, leaving behind a rich legacy of remarkable performances. Number 5. Robert Fernley, the esteemed former deputy team principal of Force India, tragically passed away on July 1, 2023 at the ripe age of 70. Remembered for his larger-than-life personality and undying passion for motorsport, Fernley's contributions have undoubtedly left an indelible mark on Formula One. Under Fernley's robust leadership spanning over a decade, Force India ascended ranks in the face of daunting resource constraints clinching an impressive fourth place in the championships in 2016 and 2017. But his legacy extended beyond the track. Fernley was an outspoken champion for financial equity within the sport, criticizing Formula One's then owners, CVC Capital Partners, for intensifying the financial struggles of smaller teams. His steadfast advocacy culminated in the formation of the Formula One Teams Association, a cornerstone in his relentless pursuit to secure better financial conditions for all competitors. Before his tenure at Force India, Fernley had a significant presence in America's IndyCar and Can-Am series, further demonstrating his multifaceted involvement in the motorsport world. Even after leaving Force India, Fernley's influence was unyielding. He was at the helm of McLaren's Indianapolis 500 entry for Fernando Alonso in 2019, and later headed the FIA's Single-Seater Commission in 2020, serving till the following year. Tributes poured in from across the motorsport community, including from Formula One CEO Stefano Domenicali, FIA and Aston Martin, each acknowledging Fernley's invaluable contributions to the sport. His relentless commitment to motorsport and his incessant drive for fairness have etched his legacy in the annals of Formula One history. Robert Fernley's indomitable spirit will continue to inspire, making his absence felt deeply within the motorsport world. Number 4. Christine King Ferris, the eldest and last surviving sibling of civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., passed away on June 29th at the age of 95. A stalwart supporter of her brother's vision, Ferris devoted her life to the preservation and promotion of Dr. King's legacy following his tragic assassination in 1968. Amidst personal and familial tragedies, Ferris served as a beacon of unwavering strength. Her active support was present in pivotal moments of the civil rights movement, including the March for Voting Rights in Alabama and the march against fear in Mississippi. In the wake of her brother's death, she was instrumental in establishing the King Center, 
serving as its senior vice president and treasurer. Her dedication to education was equally profound. Farris held two master's degrees in education from Columbia University and spent five decades as an associate professor of education at Spelman College, her alma mater from which she graduated in 1948. In addition to her contributions in academia and civil rights, Farris was an accomplished author, penning two children's books about Dr. King and her memoir, Through It All, Reflections on My Life, My Family and My Faith, published in 2009. Her works uniquely humanized Dr. King, portraying him not just as a world-renowned historical figure, but also as a brother. Ferris's resilient spirit, dedication to education, and ceaseless devotion to her family's legacy speak volumes of her extraordinary character. Her significant influence, both personally and in the wider realm of civil rights, will forever be etched in the annals of American history. As we remember Christine King Ferris, we honor an individual who personified strength, perseverance, and an unwavering commitment to justice. Number three, Dodie Heath, a versatile American actress who graced theater, film, and television, passed away on June 24th at the age of 96. Heath a graduate of the University of Washington School of Drama, made an impactful Broadway debut in South Pacific in 1950. Her illustrious theater career also included roles in A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and Oh Men, Oh Women. Transitioning to television and film, Heath showcased her incredible range in esteemed series like The Twilight Zone and The Alfred Hitchcock Hour. Her cinematic contributions included memorable performances in Brigadoon and The Diary of Anne Frank, off stage, Heath's life was as vibrant as her acting career. She was known for her high-profile relationship with circus owner John Ringling North and her marriages to agent-turned-producer Jack Cushingham and later to British producer Richard M. Soames. Remembered for her endearing portrayal of Meg Brocky in Brigadoon and the brave Meep Gees in The Diary of Anne Frank, Heath's name became a beacon of versatility and talent in the acting industry. Her successful navigation across different platforms resulted in an inspiring body of work that transcended genres and generations. As we pay tribute to Dodie Heath, we honor an actress whose dramatic prowess and impactful performances have left a lasting mark on the landscape of the American entertainment industry. Her legacy of resilience, talent and versatility will continue to inspire actors for years to come. Number two, renowned Calypsonian, ska, and rock-steady artist, Lord Creator, whose real name was Kentrick Patrick, passed away on June 30th, 2023, at the age of 87. Lord Creator's enduring spirit was evident as he fought bravely against several health issues, including strokes, prostate complications, diabetes, and high blood pressure maintaining a cheerful demeanor until his last breath. Lord Creator's career, which spanned decades, took root in his home country of Trinidad. His early hits, The Cockhead and Evening News, recorded in 1958 and 1959 respectively, set the stage for his musical journey. Following his passion, he moved to Jamaica in 1959, where he found a permanent home and an endless source of musical inspiration. His most memorable piece, Kingston Town, originally produced in 1970, gained global fame after being covered by UB40 in 1989. This cover sparked a dispute over the song's ownership and the hefty royalties it accrued. Nevertheless, this event marked a revival of Lord Creator's career, leading him to perform in several oldies shows in Jamaica and Japan. In 2022, the Jamaican government recognized Lord Creator's monumental contributions to Jamaican music and community service, awarding him the Order of Distinction on National Heroes Day. His passing leaves a significant void in the global music scene. Known for his unique blend of calypso, ska, and rock-steady rhythms, Lord Creator's musical legacy will continue to influence generations of artists and bring joy to countless music lovers worldwide. His unwavering dedication to his craft 
and his indomitable spirit will forever be remembered as an integral part of his timeless legacy. Number 1. Anita Wood, a noted TV performer and recording artist known fondly as Little Biddy and Little, has passed away at the age of 85 due to pneumonia on June 29, 2023. Best remembered as Elvis Presley's number one girl, a title bestowed during their relationship from 1957 to 1962, Wood's personal and professional life were a testament to her vibrant spirit. Her illustrious career saw her signing a contract with Paramount Pictures as an actress, a promising trajectory that she gave up for her relationship with Presley, but the stage was never far from her reach. A gifted vocalist, she recorded for reputed labels such as ABC Paramount in 1958, Sun in 1961, and Santo in 1963, showcasing her diverse musical talent. Wood's radiant presence was also a staple on television. During the summer of 1958, she made an appearance on The Andy Williams Show and later shared the uncredited vocal spotlight with Williams on the Hawaiian Wedding Song a top 15 hit in early 1959. On a personal front, Wood enjoyed a 46-year-long marriage with NFL football player Johnny Brewer until his passing in 2011. In 2005, she reflected on her romance with Elvis Presley in an interview on The Larry King Show, drawing public fascination and attention. While her voice may have been silenced, Anita Wood's significant contributions to the entertainment industry and her intriguing connection with the king of rock and roll ensures her enduring place in history. Her captivating spirit will continue to echo through her numerous artistic contributions, keeping her memory alive in the hearts of her fans and beyond. You can continue watching these videos about recent celebrity deaths in June on your screen. To keep yourself updated, you can turn on notifications.